Now, Chief Operations Officer of Delex Finance, Joe Jackson, has backed calls for an immediate ban on illegal and unregulated mining activities, also known as Galamse. Joe Jackson, who joined day three of the anti Galamse protest in Accra, fears the Kanka, if not promptly addressed, will worsen the country's economic woes. Channel One News' Fauzi Masoudu reports. It is a public outrage ignited by what many describe as the poisoning of the country's water bodies by illegal mining activities, also known as Galamse. For what started as a social media advocacy, the hashtag Stop Galamse Now has sparked a series of demonstrations in Accra against the illegal mining menace and the subsequent demand for the release of some protesters who were on remand for alleged misconduct during an earlier demonstration. Day three of the protests commenced at Okpong Global Station amidst chants and display of placards to drum home their concerns. Free the citizens! Free the citizens! Free the citizens! Stop Kalamse now! Stop Kalamse now! The group marched through some principal streets of Accra in high spirits. At the airport police station intersection, they made a stop to pay tribute to pressure group Democracy Hub protesters who remain in police custody until the next court appearance. What started peacefully nearly turned chaotic as some protesters resisted the designated route by the police. The young people of this country will not sit down and watch you misbehave and put the law into your own hands and do anything at all that you want. This is unfair. You are being unfair, you are being wicked, you are being a hypocrite. Chief Operations Officer for the Alex Finance, Joe Jackson, is worried the country's economic woes will worsen if the menace is not promptly addressed. As a person in the financial space, I want you to paint me a picture really what could be the worst case scenario so far as our finances as a country is concerned if you do not tackle the menace of illegal mining as soon as possible. Well, now think about it, right? All of us are concerned about the value of the CD, aren't we? Now, you know that Galamse is threatening our cocoa, right? There are other issues, but Galamse is a main issue threatening our cocoa. What happens when our cocoa drops? The CD will depreciate even further. Think about it. Right? Our aquaculture is going. If we can't export pineapples, yam, cashew, what have you, what, what is going to happen? Our exports drop. The CD what? Depreciates further. When this happens, we also have to import more food because now the food will be buying will be unhealthy. What happens? There's even more pressure on the city. So you see, this issue is not just a matter of water. It's a, matter, it's a financial issue. Amazed concerns about the lack of political will to combat Galamse, this is what the NDC parliamentary candidate for Ayawaso West Ugon, John Dumelu, had to say. I, I don't want to compare, but of course, during uh, the, the NDC time, I don't think the water was this polluted. And, and so that's why we are saying that Nanado, who is the head, Nanado, who is the president, he should do something about it because forever and ever, I mean, he said, of course, he's, he's putting his presidency on the line. And so he doesn't, I don't think he wants to leave this kind of uncouth uh, uh, um, um, legacy. The march continued unabated and the voices of the protesters grew even louder. And while at it, <laughs> Communications Director for the Democracy Hub Group, Nadine Sua, expressed satisfaction about the turnout. What will be your assessment so far as regards the numbers you have recorded today? The I, I am so happy, ecstatic to see the number of people out here today. It is just unbelievable. It is unbelievable that this number of young people are ready to fight for their life. It is just awesome. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. So many people don't like what is going on. And today, they have shown it. The effects of Galamsi on our water bodies and the environment are glaring, but this perspective... So, you know, as a part virgin, uh, God listens to our prayers faster than the average can hear. And I've been praying for this nation for the past 29 years, a virgin. 
you, if you go into the Bible, you could realize that some of these prophets were virgins. And that was how they were able to correlate with God more. But right now, my life is at stake. My life as a proud virgin is at stake because our waters are being polluted and I am not ready to die a virgin. There is a life to be lived and there is a target to be achieved. If I die a virgin and I go to God, what is going to ask me? So why didn't I use my virginity? And I'm not ready to use this now because I'm not ready to answer questions, you understand. So as far as I'm concerned, corruption needs to be stopped because my virginity is at stake. The protesters believe the call to action against Galamse is a civic responsibility, more so for young individuals. I feel if for anything at all, um, protest should be able to like sensitize people as to what exactly is happening, you know. And um, the fact that um, people are getting or they are becoming aware of the situation on grounds would, would, would help us. Even if the government or like the people in charge are, are not, uh, they, they don't feel it's an emergency yet, right? So I feel the sensitization enough, like the sensitization itself is enough. And um, people are now becoming aware because the crowd today sort of like brought a lot of attention to the whole cause. So I think all in all, it, 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 it's a good cause. I believe so, yes. So there is a narrative that um, Ghanaians are timid, we are meek, we only sit on social media and vent, but we do not really come out in our numbers to drum home our messages. Does this change that narrative for you? Obviously. I mean, I don't know which sort of like the world they live in or, or how, uh, how they perceive things, but I feel that for online, like a, there's a whole online community, and if wherever there's a community, even if it's virtual, it can translate into 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 the physical space, right? And then that's what we are seeing now. I mean, the organization of this thing was it was done in what a matter of days, right? But then you can see thousands of people like coming out to to support the cause. So all you know, I feel that if they feel that um, people are like just ranting and not like. Uh, uh, seeing what is on ground, the fact that they've even been aware of the situation, and the fact that they've come out in their numbers to support the I mean, it, it should be something that they should learn. The protesters remain resolute in their demand for a decisive action against illegal mining. They say enough can never be enough until the canker is promptly tackled. They are currently marching to the Black Star Square where they are expected to hold a vigil for Channel One News. Fausto Masaudu, Accra.